What's up guys? This is Max Simplifier. Today I'm going to show you a video about how to create ISO files and convert disk image files like DMG files to ISO files. Now we're not going to need any application to download from the internet because it's already built in your Mac, which is disk utility. So you go to your index and type in disk or disk utility and you choose disk utility. Oh, and take care that when you get to choose the disk utility, choose the one that is related to your um, partition you're working on. In this case, it's the primary one. I got two, primary and secondary. I'm working on the primary one, so that's the one I chose. Next, what you've got to do is create a new image. You press on create new image, and over here, you're going to select the file. For example, I'm going to choose this RTF file, save as. And the name of the disk will be, um, well, let's just name it 123. And um, yes, this is the very important part. Over here, when it tells you image format, what you've got to do is select DVD CD master. That's the very most important selection that you've got to do to create an ISO file. Once done, you press on create. Next, it gets created. Now, if you would have noticed, we haven't actually created an ISO file. We created a CDR file. Well, let me tell you something. A CDR file is the same, exactly the same as an ISO file. So all what you've got to do is just go over here to the name, remove CDR, and press and type in ISO. And here it is, use ISO. And here it is, it is now an ISO file. And once you press on it, it's going to open the ISO file over here. You press on it and you can see the contents displayed and everything. Unlike this, you've successfully created an ISO file. At the same time, you can convert disk image files into ISO files. Simply press on convert, choose your um, DMG file, for example, this one. Okay, and when you press on convert, you're going to choose image format DVD CD master. And of course, encrypt it if you want. And then you choose the location, the name, and then save. The same way it will be done. It will be created as a CDR file. Just remove in, remove this .cdr and type in .iso. And like this, you have successfully created or converted into an ISO file. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please rate and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave it below.